Hi everybody. Um, so, first things first, let's see if we can make the synthesizer make just a little bit of noise. Now, um, right now, the synthesizer, and there's actually these little buttons here. You can use the scroll wheel on your mouse or you can use those buttons to zoom in and out. Uh, you can also just double click on an item and it'll kind of center it, but maybe it's a little far away, so I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay, so let's make a sound here. Notice that there's no keyboard with the synthesizer. We're actually, um, we're used to seeing keyboards with our synthesizers. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just right click on the synthesizer and I'm going to show the software keyboard. So now I can press these buttons and or I can press these keys on my keyboard. Uh, so I can All right, so you can uh, use those keys to just kind of make sounds. And when you're testing out sounds, you know, it's nice to just be able to play a sound uh, with a key, right? And you can also just kind of change. You might be able to just change a setting and see how things sound. Another thing you can do, if you have any MIDI keyboard plugged into your computer um, and it's working as a MIDI keyboard, you can actually learn the MIDI keyboard. So I'm going to press learn MIDI keyboard and I'm going to play a note on my piano, which is attached to my computer. And as soon as I play a note on the piano, it just learned it. Um, if I started to use another device in this workspace, I would need to um, relearn that new device with my piano. It's just every time you, you switch devices, you need to relearn it. So uh, let's go ahead and now that we have this making some noise, uh, let's just take a quick overview of it and then I'll make some individual videos about the different sections. First of all, there's the oscillator section. Oscillator is anything that oscillates just moves back and forth. So an oscillator is what's going to make those sound waves. Uh, so the oscillator section is, you can think about it as kind of the noise generator of the synthesizer. That's where the actual sounds um, are originally produced. Then there's a filter section. Um, and this type of synthesizer is called subtractive synth because you start with the sounds and then you basically subtract things from the sound using the filters, right? A filter is going to take something out of that sound. So right now it's on a low pass filter. There's a low pass, high pass option. Um, the filter section we'll work on in a little bit. Then there's the modulators. Remember when we talk about when we're talking about synthesizers or any kind of sound, when you modulate something, you're changing that sound. Okay, so you can um, modulate the sound of a synthesizer using another oscillator. You can modulate the sound um, using, you know, an attack, an amplitude envelope. So there's all these things you can use to modulate the sound. And then there's going to be the master output and the pitch. Um, so these we won't actually talk about, but the tuning, you can actually just kind of like, you can just tune and detune. One thing about these is that notice that it's kind of hard to center it exactly on zero. Like I can't really do it. So just double click and then it gives you a little window and you type zero, bam, back to normal. Um, so we'll be introduced to the individual parts of the synthesizer uh, in a little bit. So see you then.